And uh, today on Have a Knife Day, man, I love our American blade culture. Uh, when it's been used in the military, when it's actually uh, gone out there and done uh, the deeds that need to be done during uh, combat, uh, one of the knives that comes to the forefront would be the K-Bar. Now, I've had this for a while. This is an aftermarket sheath. It's leather-clad Kydex done by Micah over at Black Bear Custom Kydex. He's an Army vet. And uh, one of the things that uh, one of the subscribers uh, put me into the know was adding some rubber O-rings to the leather stack handle to increase grip. I'm going to pull that out. I have done videos on my K-Bar collection before. Well, this one has VEF serrations. And then from there, <laughs> I have another K-Bar. It's this one with one of their factory sheaths. We shall put that one right there. And this over here. And then something I, I stumbled upon and uh, fell in love with very, very quickly. Oh, well, I'm going to have to replace this. Oh, I got to get a little cut on it. <laughs> and that is the dog's head. Uh, once again, with an aftermarket uh, leather clad Kydex sheath from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I got a fire starter and the whole nine yards on it ready to go and the dog's head has this little logo here uh, this one says usa this one says u.s army and this one has a hound with a couple with a set of crossbones k bar olean new york and you could tell that it has a different guard on it i like it a lot to be honest with you and the butt cap here is also a different shape so with the holidays you know we're a couple way couple days away from christmas so one of the things i wanted to secure for the channel is something new that k-bar has put out and um it's the red spacer k-bar So this harkens back to the issued knives of World War II. And uh, what you can see, let me turn on a light here, is a red spacer. And the sheath is not stamped with anything and is secured with staples. Well, one thing you are going to notice here very, very quickly, that the sheath is very tenacious. Now, this one does say USMC on it. Look at how much more substantial the guard is. We'll take a look at this one, the one I've had for a while, and the red spacer. And, uh, wow, it is just, it's bigger. It curves in more. And, you know, besides the fact that it also has a red spacer, um, I really appreciate the increased size of the guard and it has a little bit um these are a little bit more rounded than this and it has been aged and everything um and you could tell also we'll bring this up to this uh it kind of looks a little offset in my opinion so there you go. And uh, <laughs> you can smell the aging agent that they used on the leather stacked handle. Um, I am going to be getting myself a dog's head. Now, they have this, the USMC stamped, and they have the dog's head. What is the difference between this red spacer and the dog's head? Well, it's the fact that it has a dog's head instead of USMC. Uh, most likely sometime next year, I'll see about having some worthwhile endeavor. And I probably will be donating this to help raise money for a veterans charity. Uh, I'm with the American Legion. So uh, <laughs> I, I know a lot of veterans uh, organizations. Uh, and um, it, it, it's just the fact that 
I, you know, I wasn't in the Marine Corps myself, but um, I do feel that this could go to someone who would really, really appreciate it that was in the Marine Corps. We'll put this here. That's right. We'll put that right there. So now let's learn a little bit about uh, the Red Spacer K-Bar. The Red Spacer K-Bar is arguably the most collectible K-Bar knife made during World War II. The distinct red spacer below the handguard and above the leather washers has caught the eye of collectors for decades. The originals are rare and expensive, and I agree. K-Bar Estate and Union Shop has made a small batch of this iconic knife. The leather washers are shaped by hand and dyed to create an aged appearance. The pommel is ground down to replicate the dimensions of the original, and each red spacer is handmade to be slightly longer than the current spacer used on K-Bar fighting utility knives. The blade is sandblasted, then cold gun blued. The sheath undergoes an aging process to darken, and handle color is multiple colors because it all depends on how it ages. And now this is where I ask you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's right. By subscribing, you help me to continue on with this. It's not like I'm making tons of money on this. But it lets me know that I'm going in the right direction. And it is always appreciated. Now let's get on to the technical specifications. That's right. Weighing in at 0.9 pounds with an overall length of 12.125 inches. Tang Stap is K-Bar USMC, and a material, leather. Sheath manufactured in blade thickness, USA, uh, 0.167 inches, designed in the USA. Blade type is fixed. Edge angles, 20. Knife material, 1095 Crovan. Rockwell hardness, 56 to 58. Oh, <laughs> the blade thickness is 0 0.167 inches. They crammed everything in on the screen. Blade length is 7.125 inches. Shape clip point grind flat. Knife manufactured in the United States and the blade width is 1.25 inches. And there you go. So what do you think? What do you think? I think that um, I was uh, talking to uh, K-Bar, and they are going to be, uh, they're just waiting on some uh, material, and they're going to be doing another run of these, and I will be picking up a dog's head. Now, mind you, uh, this is the standard run-of-the-mill uh, dog's head, minus the vacerations. That's right. Uh, it does not look like this. It looks like this, once again, but with the dog's head stamp. And um, let's take a look at the sheath again. And then here is the sheath. I don't currently, I don't know where my other sheaths are since I've uh, given them over to the Kydex, indeed. Um, I like this uh, Kydex sheath because not only does it fit the traditional leather stack, but also this one too. And I would dare say it would fit the black one and even the Space Force one. <laughs> well, you know how it goes. Space Force. Ack, ack, ack. So, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope that you enjoy this holiday season. And we got some really good things coming up for next year. I'm looking to go back over to Arkansas for uh, the James Black uh, Bowie or Bowie uh, Heritage uh, festival in Washington, Arkansas. Uh, please do look that up and attend if you can. I plan on going there and doing some videos. And as always, do 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 do. Have a knife day. Into the dawn, and station time to fight them all. The